Good morning, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. Today is July 29th, 2014. In my previous uh, video, which was uh, segment 21 or video 21, we spoke about uh, the 10 signs of alcoholism and or drug addiction. Today, what I'd like to do is talk about whether you or your loved one uh, is showing any signs of relapse. Let's say you've been sober for quite some time or uh, you've been going through some kind of treatment, whether it being AA, my methods, or even rehab center, and, and you're starting to show some sort of uh, relapse. And that might be you or it might be someone, a uh, loved one of some sort. Contact information, as we always do in the beginning, would be uh, my cell phone number is 631-599-0218, ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com, that's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com, and also my website, which is www.clearviews.info, that's C-L-E-A-R-V-I-E-W-S dot I-N-F-O. So those are the three uh, methods to get in contact with me and there are a couple other ones and I'll just tell you those real quick. My business phone number, which uh, I have my own business, so I'm the only person that listens to the messages, is 844-393-9355 or you can also visit me at my Facebook uh, page which is clearviews.info. Now, I'd like to also ask anyone that's watching right now to please if you're drinking any sort of alcohol or doing any drugs, just put it down. Give me about 20 minutes of your time and your attention. As I said, we have uh, just in the previous video discussed uh, signs of alcoholism. And I hope to God that if you were watching and you saw even one out of those 10 signs, that that is a sure sign of alcoholism and or drug addiction. Doesn't take all ten for you to, to, to qualify for the, for this category. It just takes one of those. Now, uh, like I stated in my previous video, I do have cheat sheets, so I'm going to put that down, and we're going to go over uh, each and every uh, sign that there is. The ten signs of relapse. If you have a sinking feeling that you or your loved one is using any drugs or alcohol again these are the certain signs that you should be watching out for sign number one increased moodiness or depression each and every time that I tried the six or seven times previously before hitting rock bottom which I discussed in the previous uh, video the moodiness and the depression during the times I did not have my alcohol in other words a person uh, they will sh show some sort of signs or um, uh, any kind of uh, depression or moodiness if, if they crave for that alcohol. And what it is is that they're upset inside that they cannot get to it. So a person that has been sober and is going through maybe a month or two or three and is starting to show these two signs of moodiness and depression, that is a sure sign that this person might go back into uh, using either alcohol or drugs so we need to pay attention whether it's you that has these signs or your loved one the moodiness and depression is sign number one sign number two is increased argumentative person in other words you're talking to this person and everything you say is being challenged or uh, second guessed by the person that is in recovery, that is in sobriety or is with sobriety. If this person is craving the alcohol so much that uh, this person will constantly look to argue, might even pick uh, to pick to have a fight with you or someone in your family. Now, if it's you, that is a sign you need to step back and and take a self inventory yourself. Is it worth to quit? your long journey whether it was short or long in sobriety because you have that feeling that you need the alcohol step back and take a self inventory it's not worth it now we're gonna go to sign number three a person that is 
second guessing his or her treatment, whether it being the treatment that I recommend or the treatment AA goes through or even uh, rehab centers, if they're cutting back, in other words, they're slowing down, you see a pattern, them not wanting to go, looking for every excuse possible not to go. That is sign number three that there might be something not right here uh, because what they're doing is they're avoiding uh, going into that treatment, um, whether it being the treatment center at the AA or uh, the rehab center or even if you are watching and you have watched me over and over but now you're starting to slow down it's not because you don't want to hear what I have to say, it's because when you do hear what I have to say it you kind of get a little guilty feeling because deep down in your thought process you are thinking about possibly doing that alcohol and or drugs again and and it's a guilty conscious so when a person does not go to AA does not go to rehab centers does not watch me as much that is because they want to avoid the situation of uh, uh, continuously getting that help and that is a sure sign uh, of another uh, this uh, re relapse situation here so we need to pay attention whether it's for yourself or for a loved one so that was uh, number three number four uh, entering into high-risk situations and what that really means is now you or your loved one suddenly says oh I can go hang out with my friends at a bar or hang around the beach uh, yeah sure they're gonna be drinking but you know me I, I am recovering, I'm sober, I will not do that. A person that is now tending or walking away from sobriety a little bit will take on those challenges and the risks. And, and you know what? Temptation is very strong for any alcoholic or any drug addicted person. Temptation can kill you. And when you are tempted, you will possibly uh, relapse and and that's not a good sign so again if it's you or a loved one they need to step back they need to start fresh in their mind what what has been uh, taught to them about sobriety you know sobriety is not just a mere word saying I am sober it is actions because actions are the most important from day one until whenever uh, you are watching this video and at what point in sobriety you are or your loved one that is so important what's in between day one and right now because for me it's been since June 22nd of 2013 and I will tell you quite honestly in the beginning I was tempted every time I went past the little delis and the liquor shops I would kind of have this little devil jump on my shoulder saying Ralph have another drink but once you hit rock bottom, like we discussed in previous videos, you know what you need to do, and that's to go up. You cannot go down anymore. So that was another sure sign of uh, relapse, and that was step number four, or sign number four. Sign number five, increased signs of stress. A person that's constantly looking like they're stressed out. And, and, and this sign is uh, really an important sign and I want to also just reach out to my friend up north um, you have uh, told me that you're doing all these double shifts and all this extra work and I want you to know that the stress might uh, cause a relapse in your life and and don't let it do slow down back off from your job a little bit it is not worth uh, to, to, to uh, to drop everything and, and and everything that you've done so far just lose it all and have a relapse it's not worth it and I believe you're almost up to two weeks and in, in one or two days you're up to two weeks and that is great you have gone so far already and it doesn't sound like far but two weeks for a person that drinks every day not drinking for those two weeks is a big accomplishment so I want to congratulate you but do not let the stress from overworking yourself or overthinking your sobriety make you go into a relapse because you cannot do that so that is step number five and step number or sign number six is becoming very negative about life so that's sign number six everything you see everything you do whether it's you or your loved one is a complaint behind that uh, that 
particular item that this person is seeing or doing. Uh, in other words, here's an example. Oh God, I can't believe we have to go out shopping again. I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to do it. I just want to hang around in the home. Why is it that every day something is an issue? Those are examples. That's negativity. And I've said this in previous videos that negativity is the worst thing. I compare negativity to darkness. And positive people is the light. So you need to stay away from the negativity. And alcohol is a negative item in your life. Drugs are negative items in your life. Stay away from them. But if you are becoming more negative, then in the maybe the first month of sobriety, the second, third, or fourth, or whatever, if you're becoming more negative nine, that is your sure sign of relapse in possible your life or in your loved ones. And that's sign number six. Sign number seven. Justifying special occasions. Uh, to, to hang around with people and possibly to have a drink or do some drugs. And here's an example. You're at a wedding and they say, everybody let's raise our glasses for a toast for the groom and bride. If you're saying to your partner, your friends, oh, just this one time, it is a toast, it's for the better of the cause, I'm going to have it one time because you know what, I'm strong enough, I'll just have the one drink. That is not good because what you're doing is you're justifying having even that one drop of alcohol, that one joint, and it's not good. Do not find yourself entrapped in that situation. If you're starting to justify going to special occasions and possibly having a drink or doing drugs, that is a sure sign that you are having a possible relapse in the future or if not that day. So that is not good. Now we're up to sign number seven. Substitute the alcohol for maybe a joint. An example, when I first started in sobriety, the first month or so, I was missing my alcohol. My God, it was like I, I lost my best friend. And I started thinking in my, my head, well, what about if I just smoke a joint? You cannot substitute one drug for another drug. It just does not work. Sobriety means to be sober. That's, that, that means to be clear, clean, nothing. No alcohol, no drugs, no uh, whatever the addiction is. You cannot substitute for one for the other. So you cannot do that. If you find yourself even thinking those thoughts or even trying to do that, that is a sure sign that you're heading down the road of relapse and uh, you need to stay from that uh, stay away from that so that is another one sign number eight overconfidence about sobriety becoming cocky about sobriety walking around telling your friends i'm sober i have no problem none whatsoever uh, it's great to be sober it's great that you want to go and advertise the fact that you're so uh, sober and uh, it's, it's super important that you don't become overconfident because what happens when we become overconfident? Look at hockey players, look at football players, they become cocky and what's the next thing that happens? The opposition team scores. The opposition team here in your scenario would be the alcohol and or drugs. If you put your guard down, you become overconfident. I Trust me, I truly will tell you, you will have a relapse so you need to stay away from that. Last but not least, number 10, preoccupa preoccupation uh, with drugs and alcohol. Does your loved one talk about the glory days? In other words, are we having flashbacks from last year at the beach when we were getting drunk? Those are sure signs of relapse and you need to stay away from thinking about the old days. Those old days were negative days. They've gone, they're finished, you need to get rid of them. Talk about today. Talk about what you're planning on to doing tomorrow. Your new life started when you said, I want to be sober. Your new life started the day you became clean. Your old life ended when you hit rock bottom. So stay away from uh, talking about the good old days. If you had any one of those 10 signs, you or your loved ones, that is a sure sign of possible relapse. You don't have to have all 10, just even one. Just like in a previous video, we discussed 
the uh, signs of alcoholism. All you need is one sign. In this case, which are the signs of relapse, all you need is one. You don't need to have all ten. So, now let's discuss again about what are the steps of achieving sobriety. And the first one is to hit that rock bottom. And then to say, I am done with my drugs, I am done with my alcohol, or I'm done with both. Once we have admitted that and we have hit rock bottom, there are different methods which I've discussed many a times before and we're going to discuss them real quick again. There is my method, which is pretty much just to talk to you about alcoholism and or drug addiction. And by talking to you, by doing these videos, by my website, that is my way of uh, helping you because then you help me. And how that works is when I testify to you about alcoholism and drug addiction, I am then refreshing my mind daily of what I need to do to stay sober. And I truly want to continuously stay sober. That is my mission, to be sober for the rest of my life. It is not just a one-time commitment. It is a 24-hour a day, seven-day-a-week com commitment. And each and every day, you need to refresh your mind. You need to educate yourself. You need to stay away from the negativity. You need to stay away from the alcohol and the drugs. These are all things that you need to do. So you have my way. Then you have AA, and I've said this many a times, that AA is great. It has helped millions of people. It is possibly good for you. The only way you're going to know is to approach AA. Go to one of their meetings. What's going to happen there is you're going to sit, possibly in the classroom atmosphere or around a round table, and you're going to talk to each other. And uh, people are going to share their stories, this and that. And uh, if you like AA, then you go back for a second one. They will tell you to try to make the first week of sobriety to make seven meetings, which is seven days in a row. If that's what you really want to do, approach it and see how it goes. If you're really bad, what you might want to do is check into a rehab center. Uh, you have them in every state, just about every town has them. If you go to my website, www.clearviews.info, on page 7, you will find all the states with rehab centers. Click on your state and then you'll find rehab centers and hopefully they're within your area. And if not, you can always Google uh, your area uh, for drug uh, and uh, alcohol uh, treatment centers and you'll find them there. So those are the three methods, and then you have other methods, which is going to church. Uh, I do believe that God plays a very big role in everything that we do in life, um, uh, also in, in your sobriety, and everything that we do, God is there, and I, I truly believe that even with my steps or AA or rehab centers or going to church directly, no matter what you choose to do, uh, you have to remember that God is here, he's here to help, and uh, remember, God didn't create you to have you fail. God created humans to be uh, on the right track, to do the right thing. Uh, the thing is, is you need to reach out to God if that's, what, uh, if that's what you choose to do. And then, of course, you have YMCA centers and all sorts of other things. Uh, sometimes Lions Clubs, Knights of Columbus, they offer meetings. So these are all your different choices that you get to do. So that's what you need to do. So you have those three steps. Uh, but you need to hit rock bottom. You need to avoid uh, the 10 signs of relapses. If you are sober right now, like I've stated, avoid them. Do not even um, uh, deal with them. No, in other words, when I say do not even deal with them, if there are signs with them, you need to step back, take a self-inventory, and start all over again. And even if you haven't relapsed yet, if you have a sign, there is a good chance you're that close of a relapse. So step back, take a self-inventory, and start all over again. Now, we've spoken about the, the different methods of uh, helping yourself and, and getting the treatment that you have. If you're watching me right now, and you're very bad off, in other words, you're, you're vision is blurry, uh, you had a really bad night, and you're drooling out of your mouth, or whatever the case may be, please call 911. They are there to help you. All these methods of treatments are great, but if it's an emergency that you need help right now, call 911. 
And then when you're done, you come back home from the hospital and then you can start with the methods because at this point and juncture, if you are right now watching me and you need to call 911, that means you're, hit, you're hitting rock bottom if you haven't hit already, which only means you can go up and you can utilize the methods that I've continuously put on all my videos. Contact information again, ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com www.clearviews.info that's C-L-E-A-R-V-I-E-W-S dot I-N-F-O you can call me at 631-599-0218 you can call my business number which I'm the uh, person uh, that answers the phone because I am within my own business which is 844-393-9355 I had to think there for a minute because I don't call myself that often <laughs> And then also you have uh, on Facebook, you have my clearviews.info page. I just want to ask each and every person to please consider sobriety. Please stop with the drinking, stop with the drugs, because tomorrow can be such a better day with a sober today. So if you start today being sober, that will guarantee you a better tomorrow, better next week, and better next year. And what it does, it guarantees you uh, a better life your loved ones will notice when you accept sobriety into your life when you hit rock bottom and you go up a lot of things are going to change in your life forget the fact that you're going to hopefully be alcohol and drug free your personality changes your skin colors change your moods change people will notice around you i promise you that it might take a little bit of time because people are a little worried that if they uh, approach you and say, wow, you're sober two days, that's great, look at how you're doing, that you might put your guard down and one of those 10 signs that we just discussed about relapsing uh, will happen, the overconfidence, the cockiness. So your loved ones will notice and they will come out and tell you, I've been sober over a year now, and believe me, I've had people come up to me and, and, and actually point out the difference. Uh, but you can get to that point, you will get to that point, but the first thing you have to do is accept the fact that you have a problem. Because I can guarantee you, no matter how many videos I do, I will tell you right now that I am an alcoholic. Are you an alcoholic? Are you addicted, uh, addicted to drugs? Because if you are, you need to do something about it. You need to step back. You need to accept the fact that you have a disease. It's not something that we choose to do because I will tell you, no matter how many times I chose not to drink, my body needed those drinks. I needed those drinks because it's a disease within me and it's probably a disease within you if you're an alcoholic or a drug addicted. So the only thing you can do is learn to live with it because you're not going to eliminate it. You learn to live with it, and each and every day, I promise, will get better in your life. Please, I cannot reach out to you. You need to reach out to me if you need help. My phone number is 631-599-0218, and I just want to give a shout-out to my friend up north. I just want to say congratulations. You're doing good. Thumbs up. Continue doing what you're doing, but do not let the stress from your job cause a relapse. My friend down in Florida, I hope to hear from you soon. Hope you're doing well. Today is Tuesday. Your uh, negative days are showing up. Fridays and Saturdays are your uh, days that you most uh, likely will start partying up again. And I hope you don't, but these are only your words that you have those problems, Fridays and Saturdays. So please try to be careful as much as possible. I want to just shout out to my friend in Virginia. You know who you are. Uh, I haven't heard from you in over a week. I've att uh, attempted to call you a couple times, sent you a couple texts and emails. I hope to God you're okay. Um, please reach out to me, 631-599-0218. We need to talk. Uh, if you truly want to be sober, you cannot just say the words. You need to practice sobriety. And there are so many things that you need to do to do it. Uh, but the most important thing is it's a day-by-day, step-by-step issue. It's not something that you just call me last week and you say, Ralph, I, I can do this, and then I don't hear from you because we need to work together.
for all my friends out on Facebook that continuously watch me I want to thank you I hope to God out of all my friends all the people that have friends through my friends that watch this even if I can just help one person just one person I feel like this video is a big accomplishment for me because my quest my calling in life is to help you is to come out and truly help each and every person that has drug and, and or alcohol issues and uh, if I can just help one person with each video that is great even if I don't help a person that particular video I hope to God that these videos continuously are being watched on Facebook or my website www.clearviews.info and then we can all hopefully sober up because a sober today makes for a better tomorrow if you believe that you can change and you can stop with the drugs and alcohol if you believe it you can achieve it so please continue watching my videos please pass my videos on to people your loved ones that you might feel that have issues with drug and or alcohol and I hope to God that we all speak to each other real soon a sober today makes for a better tomorrow have a great day have a great rest of the week, but more importantly, have a sober day. Thank you very much, and God bless you.